Hey guys, it's your girl Ree. And your girl Lady G. And you're now tuned into the, the Rhea Lady G Show. So guys, this week we are talking about love. Yes, the hot topic that's always a good and spicy one all over the world. In light of our topic of the week, I have decided to create a cocktail called Strawberry Spritzer. In this cocktail, you are going to need Strawberry Fanta. Yes, I took it back to old school. I probably haven't had it since I was a kid. Um, the basis of the drink is Andre. It is a champagne. Very affordable. You can get it right over at Walmart. You guys already know. And I decided to do a different brand of strawberry lemonade this week. This is a market side brand. I'm thinking that the only place you can really find it is at is Walmart. But it's really tasty. Give it a try. And it was only 96 cents. And to top things off, I got a little fancy, and this is called Tequila Rosé Strawberry Cream. So that's where the cream topping is at the top and at the bottom. Stay tuned, guys. So good. Welcome back. We have so much tea for you guys today. It is really unreal. The topic, like Hyphen I said, hot. is love, which I've been actually like beasting. Just so you guys know, back in Jersey, that means like really hype or another synonym. Give me another one. You're desperate. Desperate <laughs> to talk about this topic because there's a lot of things that she wouldn't tell me until we had the show. Yes, guys. So, nonetheless, we prepared red velvet waffle with some crispy fried chicken. And I have a, some cream cheese frosting on the side with strawberries to garnish. Homemade. She yes. made this cream cheese from scratch. I watched her do it. Yes. And you guys are gonna see her do it as well. Yep, just look at the images and you'll see everything pop on up and you'll see exactly how I made it. Um, the red velvet waffles was made with cake batter. So if you guys like um, red velvet cake, um, you can get Duncan Hines, Betty Crocker, it really doesn't matter. Um, you just wanna make it just like as they instructed, put in the waffle maker and boom. It's really that simple. Red velvet waffles. And then the chicken we got from Publix. I'm going to be real with you. I love Publix fried chicken. I and do too. Yeah. That's, and that's some a whole good chicken. It really is good. Like even the bone-in chicken is really good. But, you know, of course, we'll double back on the fried chicken recipe for you guys if you'd like. Let me know if you'd want me to make fried chicken on the show and I'll let you know how I do it. Um, actually, my little sister taught me how to make fried chicken. So, before <laughs> Shout that, out it's, to a little, Janae. it's a little difficult for me. But nonetheless, we are here, so let's let's get this topic popping, Lady G. Oh Lord, here we go, Lady G, Lady G, Lady G. So everybody will, Chef Ree has been wanting to know my opinion on all these love topics. Yes. But I'm gonna flip the strip on her and ask her, what is love to you? Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you can um you can finally ask me this question because now I really feel like I know what love is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel that love. Ten years later, how many lit? Girl, how many relationships later? I never loved y'all. <laughs> <laughs> love them and leave them. Sorry. Like, let me stop. Just realized. <laughs> let me stop. It wasn't love, but yeah. Um. <laughs> she being shady as always, but go ahead. So yeah, love is definitely, definitely something that is unconditional in my view. I find that love is patience. Love is everything it says in the Bible, like for real. It's kind, it's kind, love is gentle, love is meek and mild. Do you love think all you're all those things? things? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I, my boyfriend, I don't know how he puts up with me, but I love him and he loves me. And mm -hmm. we just, you know, we, we you go through different things and you overlook those things mm. because of the love that you have. So that is what love is to me. Unconditional. Okay. Now, ba based on the fact that I feel that love is unconditional, um, do you feel that love is unconditional anymore? If it ever was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like love is conditional, like nobody, okay, maybe the actual emotion of love is unconditional, but 
The way that sounds, that sounds like I might be having to accept anything. Right? Right. Love is unconditional. So if not you not knock me upside my head, I'm <laughs> here. It's unconditional. You know what I'm saying? You keep cheating on me, I'm here. It's conditional. I ain't yeah. trying to, I'm not feeling that. I'm sorry. You right. Y'all to be mad. I feel like back in the day, like, women used to, I mean, they men go to Japan for five years of fighting the military and be back and they'll be like, hey, baby, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you know, not these not the <laughs> Right. <laughs> Mm-mm. It's not happening. But on some realness, though, hmm. I feel like, you know, it's so much easier now to just walk away from relationships and friendships and things like that. Why do you think that that's the case? And I'm really asking Lady G, guys, because on a regular basis, I call her and I ask her for advice. And to, it's, the, it's really the best advice. And I'm grateful that I have a friend that's married. And it's, you know? I feel like social media has a lot to do with things. Um, all of the half-dressed women all over social media, you Disrespect. know. It's just, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Because on one breath, get it how you live, sis. But at the same time, I think men are drawn to that. And it's really a facade. Because you with that mean. same woman to have same problems. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think social media has a lot to do with Yeah unconditional love being wiped out because people don't even want to be in a relationship no people more. People are disposable to other people and it's terrible. You it's don't right. get ownership over people. You get to experience them and I'm really starting to believe that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's very true. I feel like definitely um, social media has a lot to do with that and I feel like, you know, nowadays like we talked about in our last episode if you guys watched it, how to cope with your feelings, I feel like people really don't know how to address what they have going on. Like, exactly. They don't know where to put how they feeling, how to deal with it. And so the easiest thing for people to do is just walk away. You know? I'm sorry. This is so good. It really is. I'm like, damn. I want to put the whole... I'm really trying that to shit. calm down on this tape for y'all. <laughs> because... <laughs> I mean, y'all know Jeff, we don't like to eat on the show. Everybody <laughs> already know that. I eat for everybody, okay? <laughs> you and the viewers, too. <laughs> I've been eating after the show and before the show, guys. So Chef Ree has been asking me for about two weeks... No, let me ask you. Oh my God, guys! Like she said, I have been asking her for like two weeks <laughs> this one question. Let's get over I'm gonna that. let you know how I feel, but boy, I'm. <laughs> I have to know. Do you guys think that you can be in love with two people at one time? Do you think that? I do. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I let do me, too. let me, I let me, too. let me clear it up. Lord of mercy, Ace gonna come kill you. <laughs> I'm getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is my reason. Well, let's, let me just do a disclaimer. I have never been in love with two people at one time. But I've came across a few people who I know, they have been in love with more than one person. And I definitely think... I think close, that close, monogamy close, 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 close. <laughs> in love with two people at the same time or love two people at the same time. Chef Ree, she wanna always be so technical, y'all. That's I'm technical. That's technical. In love. You what well, no, you know, no. 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 You cannot be in love with two people at one time, but you can love two people at one time. You know what I'm saying? I just I just feel like you can. Got you. Um, I feel that you can love two people at the same time because you can love them for different reasons. Yeah. I was in that situation before where, like, I want to say it was love, but, like, I was feeling them both equally on the same level. Got and it. one did one for me and the other did the other. See, I never, I never had a chance to, to, to have that. Um, yeah. You know, but... They don't know that they did that, but they did. But it's a good experience to have. You it was know a wonderful saying? experience. It was really You said they didn't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the auto. Just for a little bit, guys. Everybody has to experience their whole phase. And I feel like after you... I definitely agree with that, that, y'all. I hope y'all ain't looking at me yeah, shady, but nah. you're going to do that anyway, so who gives a damn? <laughs> no, seriously. But, like, I feel like after you had your whole phase, then you can actually, like, take the scales back off your eyes and, like really truly see and don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say once you get married you always only have eyes for that person and you're always only you know it's not true it takes necessary steps to 
really stay focused and stay in love in your marriage, in 100%. your relationship. You have to water yeah. it like it's a plant in order for it to grow. If you are on page five and that person is on page 10, you have an issue. You have to find a way to stay on the same page. Everybody's growing all the time. If you guys don't stay in sync with each other, you will grow apart because you're growing. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, People like to think that because you're married, you don't never look at another guy or he doesn't never look at another woman. No, that's not the case. It is how much you desire to have self-control because that's what it's really all about. It's about having self-control and mind control because we're humans. And monogamy is not 100% natural. Monogamy is not 100% natural. I feel like you have to structure yourself and carry yourself in a certain it way. It better be natural to for him. <laughs> It ain't though. Period. It needs it to ain't. be nat- it needs to be natural for him. You better not ever. I n- I didn't say do something. I said you have to focus and have yourself in a certain mind and body to Agreed. stay on the right path. Now with because that it's being not said, easy. <laughs> with that being said, do you think that you could really and truly love somebody and really like have sex with somebody else? And like a lot of people do, do it, but I personally my issue with it is it takes too much mind remembering and moving yeah. and making my nerves bad. And I already got stomach problems. I don't got time for that. Okay? If you're not satisfying me, if you are not satisfying me, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to try to fix it with you a few times. In the event it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say it. it's not working out. I'm not going to stay in a relationship being unhappy. So shout out to my husband. He does pretty good. And where he does it, maybe I'll tell you guys more about it on the next episode. Hear that. Um, what I will say is um, I have one last question. One last question for you. Do you think that sex could lead to love? Or do you think that it could distort it? I'll answer that when we come back for a commercial break. All right. We'll be back, guys. And we are back. We're finishing up our chicken and waffles. That's also oh so good. I'm about to kill it when I come off camera, by the way. Can sex lead to love? Absolutely, it can. Sex is an emotional thing. It's a connection between two people. So oh, if you Sex can lead to love or lust. Which one? Whatever. It can lead to getting it on. <laughs> <laughs> and it feeling like love. <laughs> That's it. <Ooh>. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, okay. I think that, okay, top secret, my boyfriend and I waited almost five months to engage in any type of intimacy you prior did that. to being in a relationship. And he asked me to be his girlfriend before he even got to this girl. Ah. So I feel that made our relationship a lot, lot stronger, to be honest with you. I feel like with us waiting, we were able to kind of know who each other, you know, who, who we are as individuals and who we'd be together. So, you know, it was definitely an experience for sure. Um, and I definitely would recommend it. Of course, you don't have to. You can still be in love even if you kind of mess with the guy on the first night. And that's just right. on y'all. To make but, it be a more serious thing. Because, you know, I let my I made my husband wait a little while too. And he thought I was just going to be a booty call. But it didn't yeah. happen. <laughs> Never. So let's Hold get on to, to the goods, ladies. Hold on to them, honey. Now, let's talk about this celebrity tea. So this week... Chef Ree knows more about celebrity tea than I even do. I was in the shade room and all that. Okay. So, I find it crazy that, like, Cardi B be like, all set, all set, all set. After all the public humiliation, they are married, and I'm not married, so I can't judge what nobody do what they take and accept. You know what I'm saying? But, like, comparing a Cardi B situation to a, you know, um, Beyonce situation, they've kind of gone through public humiliation. They have. Now, the thing is, you have to understand, Rihanna, when you choose to forgive someone, you have to... Ain't happening. You have to really forgive them. You know what I'm saying? And after you forgive them, you can't be like, nah, I'm not going to support my husband because he played me. Now, do I feel like she got to keep vocally taking a stand and respond back from the backlash so much? Probably not, but this is Cardi B. This is who she is. This is who we love. So 
your expectations for how she's going to handle certain things has to coincide with who she is. Most so definitely. that just has a lot to do with it. I think that Cardi B is a very emotional person. Yeah. And she wants to support, stand behind whoever she is on her team, you know? So she... And I love that. You know, and I love that too. So I think that that has a lot to do with why she goes so hard because I feel like if she was my friend, she'd be going far me too, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's who Cardi B is. I love Beyonce, that. Beyonce... This quiet, secret, private. Nobody ever know. Um, she accepted it. She has to move on. You know what I'm saying? If you accept it, you have to move on. So that's just that. We have so much more that we want to talk about on this web, this this actual set. Ugh. Show. Episode. Show. Exactly. Episode show. I'm getting tongue, tongue tied. But you guys are going to have to stay. <laughs> You guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next episode. Stay tuned. Damn.